2018 has been wrought with scandal and international drama as we surpass the two-year mark of Donald Trump's presidency. With everything from sex scandals to mass murder and political assassinations, 2018 has been very controversial. Here's a list of the top news stories from the Goldwater. Number 10. The NOCO meeting. President Trump began tweeting about North Korea almost as soon as he was in office. After the country announced to the world its first successful test launch of its intercontinental ballistic missile capable of carrying a nuclear warhead to anywhere in America. This isn't the past. This isn't another administration that never got it started. The North Korean leader Kim Jong-un had been stepping up his nuclear programs over the last several years, and the world was starting to take notice. Trump even famously tweeted about the North Korean leader saying, Will someone from his depleted and food-starved regime please inform him that I, too, have a nuclear button? But it is a much bigger and more powerful one than his, and my button works. Many questioned his unorthodox tactics when it came to dealing with North Korea, but the world was proved wrong when the two leaders successfully set up a historic meeting in Singapore, and the hostilities came to an end. Number 9 the trade war. The United States clashed with China in a trade war after Trump took office and announced he would be putting America first in his international dealings. During his campaign for the presidency, Trump promised to fix China's longtime abuse of the broken international system and unfair practices. The result was a series of tariffs placed on Chinese goods, but Chinese President Xi Jinping responded in kind and put tariffs of his own on U.S. goods. The result began to get nasty, and Trump opened a formal investigation into cyber attack on the intellectual property of the United States and its allies, which cost the U.S. alone around 225 to 600 billion. I will a hold year. my cabinet secretaries and agency heads accountable, totally accountable, for the cybersecurity of their organization, of which we probably don't have as much, certainly not as much as we should have. The trade war finally came to an end at the G20 summit, where the two world leaders declared a truce and agreed to end the trade war. Success and friendship, working together to solve not only our problems, but world problems and problems of great danger and security. Appreciate it. Number eight, shadow ban of conservatives on Twitter. A report came out in July that confirmed that the social media platform Twitter was intentionally targeting conservative accounts, specifically those who tweeted a lot about guns, the Second Amendment, and many other right-wing topics. The list of prominent public figures and politicians include people like the Republican Party chair, Ronna McDaniel, Trump Jr.'s spokesman, Andrew Sarabian, and even conservative members of Congress like Representatives Mark Meadows, Jim Jordan, and Matt Gates. When confronted about the obviously deliberate bias against conservatives, while Democrat accounts remained uninhibited, a Twitter spokesperson said, I'd emphasize that our technology is based on account behavior, not the content of tweets. Number 7. Kanye West's Republican Love Affair Rapper and husband to reality television star Kim Kardashian Kanye West became a staunch supporter of the Republican Party and a big fan of President Trump in 2018. West began wearing the president's signature red Make America Great Again hat everywhere he went. His newfound support for the president didn't go unnoticed, and he soon found himself in the Oval Office speaking with President Trump about current political issues. The rapper drew a massive amount of criticism over the sudden political activism, and he was soon being bullied and harassed by his own friends and even some family. And then they say, I'm in a sunken place. You want to see the sunken place? Okay, I'm going to listen to y'all now. I'm going to put my Superman cape on, because this means you can't tell me what to do. Follow your heart and stop following your mind. That's how we're controlled. That's how we're programmed. On October 30th, West announced that he would be distancing himself from politics. He tweeted, My eyes are now wide open and now realize I've been used to spread messages I don't believe in. I am distancing myself from politics and completely focusing on being creative. Number six, 
Woolsey Fire is one of the most destructive wildfires that burned through Los Angeles and Ventura counties of California. The catastrophic fire happened November 8, 2018, and damaged 96,949 acres of land. The fire destroyed 1,643 structures. This wildfire destroyed Hollywood actors' homes, including Caitlyn Jenner, Ellen DeGeneres, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Miley Cyrus. Number 5. 2018 United States Midterms The 2018 United States elections took place last November 6, 2018, right in the middle of President Donald Trump's first term in office. There was a total of 35 out of 100 seats in the United States Senate and all 435 seats in the United States House of Representatives up for grabs. There were also 39 states in territorial governorship, as well as numerous other state and local elections. The Democrats made a net gain of around 40 seats in the House of Representatives elections. In the Senate elections, Republicans grew their majority by two seats. Since the 2018 midterm elections, the 116th United States Congress will be the first Congress since the 99th Congress in which the Democrats control the House and the Republicans control the Senate. Number 4. Economic Migrant Caravan When U.S. President Donald Trump was campaigning during the 2016 elections, one of his campaign promises was to crack down on illegal immigration. Despite the new administration's position on illegal immigration, a group called Pueblo Sin Fronteras, People Without Borders, began organizing mass migrant caravans which swelled to thousands of people. These caravans traveled through Mexico on foot in a giant group after breaking through the Mexican border. They had the intention on reaching America. Mexican authorities offered many of them asylum, but these people weren't interested in living in Mexico. They were following the call of the liberal Democrats, like former President Barack Obama, when he made illegal immigration not just easier, but in a sense, legal by providing means for undocumented immigrants to secure welfare, student aid, and even driver's licenses. Number 3. Brett Kavanaugh's Sexual Assault Allegations Brett Kavanaugh is an American lawyer who went to serve as a circuit judge of the United States Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit. Kavanaugh graduated from Yale University with a degree in American history. When Kavanaugh's name was on a short list of nominees for the Supreme Court, President Trump announced his endorsement. The Democrats promptly paraded out one of their far-left liberal professors who was willing to claim that Kavanaugh had sexually assaulted her at a party when they were teens. The allegations resulted in several hearings by a bipartisan panel from the Judiciary Committee who heard from both the accuser, Christine Blasey Ford, and Kavanaugh. Ford's story began to unravel when the friends she identified as being present during the assault denied the party even happened or that they had even met Kavanaugh. Number 2. Saudi Journalist Jamal Khashoggi Jamal Khashoggi is a journalist who was born in Saudi Arabia but fled the country in 2017 after he claimed the Saudi Arabian government banned him from Twitter. Khashoggi began fearing for his life when he started digging into the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. He was also a vocal opponent of the Saudi Arabian-led intervention in Yemen and eventually moved to America where he became a reporter for the Washington Post. On October 2, 2018, Khashoggi entered the Saudi Arabian consulate in Istanbul to pick up paperwork, but he never left. Slowly, the Turkish government admitted that Khashoggi had been murdered and that his death was captured on hidden and technically unlawful recording devices inside the embassy. The recording captured the journalist's seven-minute death by suffocation, which was carried out by a death squad of 15 people. Once he was dead, the assassins dismembered his body with bone saws and secretly extracted him from the embassy in pieces. Former Saudi diplomat and intelligence official working for Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, whom Khashoggi knew. Khashoggi is clearly alarmed and replies, you can't do that. People are waiting outside for me. And now the number one story for 2018. Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School Shooting. On February 14th, 2018, one of America's worst school shootings began when a gunman opened fire at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. The shooter killed 17 students and staff and injured another 17. 
The gunman was quickly identified as 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz, who was a former student of the high school. The nation was shocked by the shooting, and as information began to come out, it was revealed that Cruz had made a comment on YouTube saying he wanted to become a professional school shooter. He was found near an apartment complex hours later and charged with 17 counts of premeditated murder and 17 counts of attempted murder. Thank you guys for watching, and please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the like button, and don't forget to check out our news website at www.thegoldwater.com. This has been Philip with The Goldwater.